Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube, and today we are reviewing the brand new KVD Good Apple Full Coverage Serum Foundation. Blindly ordered my shade. I have not used anything from this brand like since Kat Von D left and it became KVD so I just had no interest really honestly even, even when Kat Von D had her makeup line the only thing that I repurchased was the white concealer because I like to use it as a mixing medium so I'm excited to try this today I don't know what the shade's gonna be like it's really hard to pick my shade Then I purchased the KVD Lock It Pore Refining Primer. This is brand new. It's supposed to be moisturizing. I do have a dry skin type, breakout prone, just irritable, sensitive skin. I will be using the primer on one side and not on the other. I don't believe that when you're purchasing high-end foundations that you really need a primer. It's really all about skin prep. Prep your skin correctly for your skin type and you really don't need primer. You really just need to let the $40 to $100 foundation do its job. So I also do believe in using primers for color correcting and also skin issues. So if you're extra dry, you could layer on a moisturizing primer, or if your pores are looking a little larger, you could do a pore refining primer, you know, and if you're red in one area of the face, use a green primer. You can color correct and texture correct when needed, but you don't need a primer all the time, especially with higher end foundations. I never even hopped on the bandwagon of the, uh, I don't know, the one that went wild on TikTok, the good apple, like the one in the in the circle compact. I almost had a panic because I couldn't find my chunk setting clips. I just bought these and I love them. First, let's go over the claims and all of the facts about the pore refining primer. This is $34 for one fluid ounce. It's vegan, it says it's hydrating, best for dry combo to normal skin, good for pores, fragrance free, cruelty free, it has green lentil extract, visibly minimizes pores, and rice water that soothes the skin. All right, it says it is a vegan primer that maximizes makeup wear and minimizes the look of pores immediately and over time. Squeeze a pea size amount. That's that's a lot of that's a that's a lot of product, honestly. So $34 for a primer, which if you feel like you need it, this is $34. Foundation is $42, so that's $76. If a high-end foundation requires a primer, makes it better, then that turns your foundation into a $70 to actually $80 with taxes. Turns it into an $80 foundation. All right, the packaging, honestly, to me, doesn't feel like a $34 product. It may just be, you know, this situation. Just looks like something you get at the drugstore. I'm gonna zoom you in. I'm gonna apply, oh, does this have silicone in it? Uh, see, okay, look at the opening here. It's pretty large, so it's really hard to control the amount of product that came out. I think that's about a pea size amount, actually. So I'm gonna apply the primer to just the left side of my face. And I do struggle with enlarged pores on my cheeks and uh, my chin, my nose, really, so. Oh, do you guys see that? I'm gonna go ahead and compare it to what it reminds me of. You know when like you're swimming and your snot turns white and it kind of like gets stuck and is a little bouncy on your face and if nobody tells you, you look like that the rest of the day? This feels like I'm rubbing like summer swim snot on my face. It doesn't feel feel silicone-y. I'm literally gonna apply it right down there. I'm not seeing an instant or reduction necessarily. That's a weird texture though. That's, that's a first, I will say that for me. Maybe once it sits on the skin for a second, it'll start minimizing, but I'm not seeing the benefits yet. And the thing is, that's what we were looking for. So it does have 1% synthetic fragrance, so I don't know why it says it's fragrance free. I can't find that it has silicone in it. I'm feeling a tightening as I'm sitting here. Most pore refining primers have silicone in it, so it actually fills your pores, and so makeup goes over your pores instead of in, like, you know, sinking in. It kind of feels like I put a tightening mask on my face. It feels kind of, if I were to move my face a little too much, it would uh, crack or something. So let's let's see how this turns out. This is really interesting. Let's get into the foundation. Good Apple Full Coverage Transfer Proof. So we'll try that out. Vegan Serum Foundation. Now I will be testing this out all day. I will give you natural light shots. I have a doctor's appointment. We may cry, who knows? We're gonna see how this does. And I do have a workout. I like to test foundations thoroughly because some people do work out in makeup, whether they don't have time to wash their makeup off before they go to the gym, or some people feel more comfortable wearing makeup at the gym or when they work out. So whatever your choice is, we will be putting her to the sweat test. If you don't work out, 
just replace the workout in your mind of like, will this last in summer heat if I'm outside? It kind of evens out. So it says it's a lightweight, full covered serum foundation that blends and bends with the skin for a natural seamless finish and transfer proof wear. Use one pump at a time for buildable full coverage. Use two or more pumps for quick full coverage. Have enlarged pores? Try the pressed locket pore refining primer sold separately. So it does say shake well. Use a sponge to tap into the skin, building up whatever level, level coverage you want. I'm going to be using the new Fenty Beauty football sponge, the uh, big game <laughs> football sponge. Can't use the SB word. It got like double the size. And I almost don't want to use it because it's very cool to me. I love watching football. I love football. I just picked the shade zero to medium because I don't know my foundation shade in this brand. This is the bottle. I guess it's shaped like a coffin on purpose. Again, this reminds me of like a mid-range brand at Ulta. Like I would see this foundation for like 18 to $20, not 42. It is heavy. It's glass, which is nice. Medium 027 might be the match. To me, this is more of a light shade. You got fair, light, medium, medium, dark, dark. I didn't shake it. I'm using my 50 ounce Chamberlain coffee mason jar. If you are a member of my channel, you know about this already. If you'd like to join, I will have a link below. We talk about all kinds of secrets over on members only. It looks like my shade actually. So here we go. This is the side with the primer. Well, that's a lot of coverage. And I like to start in the center of my face and work my way out because that's where most of my darkness and redness is. So you can use a foundation brush. I prefer not to use foundation brushes when I apply my foundation because I have very dry sensitive skin and I feel like using even a dense buffer brush just kind of kicks up my dry skin and sensitivity. I have to say immediately. I'm impressed. I honestly thought that the primer would kind of pill up underneath the foundation. So since this is one pump, that's how far one pump goes. Primer side. Again, I'm getting that tightening feeling. I'm not quite sure if that's because of the primer or the foundation right now, but look at this. Again, I'm starting in the middle of my face. This time, no primer. We'll see what my pores look like. We'll also see at the end of the night what this foundation looks like because it says it's supposed to be long wearing and transfer proof. Oh, interesting. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but it definitely, on this side, it did not pick up on any dryness around my nose. And the side without the primer is picking up on dryness, which I kind of don't like because I don't want my foundation to turn into a 70, a $80 foundation. And here's why, because this is geared more towards dry skin. Sometimes when a foundation sits a little bit longer on the skin, it can kind of start melding with the skin more. I am still getting a tightening feeling. I'm also noticing a little bit more of a glowiness, the primer side than without. Zoom out, maybe you guys can see that a little more. I'm gonna let this sit on my skin. I feel like my skin is being tightened to the gods right now. It's kind of an uncomfortable feeling, but if it goes away and it ends up like making me look perfect, it's worth it, I feel. I applied the rest of my makeup. I have some thoughts. This is sat on my face for a good 40 minutes now. I still feel the tightening on my skin. It's on both sides. Again, just a refresher. The left side has the KVD pore refining primer on it. The right side only has the KVD Good Apple Full Coverage Serum Foundation on it. And it feels like, mm, feels like I'm wearing a mask. The more I move with my face, this does claim to like bend with your face. I feel like it does, it moves well with my skin, but I'm not quite sure if it's because it's like created a layer, like almost like a web over my face. So it's just like everything's moving together as like one instead of just my skin moving, you know, how she wants to. And then whatever products on top are moving with her. I feel like my skin is being forced to move with this foundation. So here's my next skin, right? There's no coverage. She's just moving. There's just moisturizer. And then it just kind of looks a little mask-like when I start moving my cheeks around, it looks like I have a foundation on. It's not cracking or creasing, it's over my fine lines, but it's definitely not blurring or hydrating looking. Again, this is a side with the primer, this is a side without. They look the same, you don't need this primer. 
I feel like I would have really liked this foundation maybe in my early to mid 20s, but now that I'm like mid 30s almost, it's just not doing anything that I would want it to do for my skin. Let's get on about our day and see where this foundation takes us. We zoomed out and under studio lighting, it looks beautiful, but the feeling of it and looking close in a mirror, I'm like, just not what I was expecting. I just realized I want it before I get all sweaty and stuff. This foundation does say it's transfer proof. I have to wash this black turtleneck anyway. So I'm just gonna press into the skin because I don't want to wipe because I want to see how long the foundation lasts itself. And again, I haven't powdered. It's not on the turtleneck. It's still not on the turtleneck. We are in natural daylight with the foundation. Uh, I still don't like it. And it definitely transferred on the mask. Like it, it didn't transfer on the, by pressing that black turtleneck in to the foundation, but it definitely uh, rubbed off my nose and a little on my cheeks. So it's not transfer proof as far as a mask goes. So not transfer proof. I feel like it just looks like I have kind of a lot of foundation on, honestly. Currently it is 5.39. I've had this foundation on for almost seven hours and I don't like it. My skin still feels tight. I'm about to do a workout. I mean, you guys just saw it in natural light and everything. It just looks like cakey foundation to me. And it, uh, you know, honestly, I don't even think I would think that it looked this cakey if it didn't feel this cakey. Like it feels like cakey foundation, but I know it's not as cakey as some foundations that I have tried. I feel like both sides of my face look the same. I don't feel like the primer helped this foundation whatsoever. Again, the left side is with the primer. The right side is without. Here's the pores around the nose. This foundation completely wore off on my nose with the mask and my chin. Um, so, it's not transfer proof with a mask for sure. A little dry and crusty in some areas, especially my nose. Like especially my nose. Hi, hi. I just finished my workout and I can tell you right now, this foundation really actually looks better now that I've sweat in it. So maybe it would work with setting spray, but honestly, I'm not, I just don't like the way my skin feels. Sweat, honestly, is probably providing the most of the glow. I'm really interested in what you guys think. It is currently now 7.15. So I've had this foundation on now for eight hours. It still feels really tight. The KVD, good apple. Full coverage serum foundation is a no-go for me. I'm going to return this and the primer. Both sides look the same and I just have better foundations, especially at this price point. $42 and $34, again, plus tax, that's an $80 foundation. Not that they're marketing this to go with this. Well, actually, no, they are because in the description, they said if you have larger pores to use this. So technically, girl, they're trying to sell it to you in a pair. Let me know what you think. What do you guys think of KVD Beauty? I, again, this is the first Thing I've tried from them since Kat Von D, honestly. And even then I just was a fan of that white concealer, but there's plenty of other mixing mediums out there that you can use, especially from MAC, you don't need it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe so I know that you enjoy my foundation reviews and I'll have everything that I am wearing and tried and the new merch that is out in the info below. I can't wait to wash this off my face and feel like I don't have drying paint on my face. That's what it feels like. It feels like paint is drying on my face. It's just not good.